you guys, me, Raymond from Vicrez, and we're back today with another video installation for our Challenger. As you see here, we have a new Challenger rear diffuser. It is the VZ10-2491. As you see, it comes in three pieces, so we're gonna show you how to assemble it, and then we're gonna show you how to attach it onto the car right behind us. Let's get into it. So the first step we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and attach the side pieces. As you can see here, they attach onto the diffuser right here with the two holes. So the hardware it does come provide are these two little screws, which are the fill-up heads, and then a little black Phillips head plastic screw that you would put on as the last one. So we're gonna go ahead and install these pieces. So first we're gonna go ahead and start with the right fin. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna go ahead and line it up with the holes and it's a simple clip on at first. And you feel it attached. You have all the line, holes lined up. And then what you're going ahead and do is start off with the little silver screws that come provided. First you wanna start off with just twisting it by hand so you know you have the line up. After you have them placed, you want to go ahead and get a drill with the Phillips tip and you want to go slowly to attach it. It should be like that. Then after that, you want to go ahead and get this little washer piece that is going to attach onto the third one, which will be at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and attach it through the bottom right here. And this one will hold both the pieces together. After you have it in, you're gonna go ahead and get the screw piece. Manually push it in there at first. And that should, should be look on the right side. So the same process I did right here, we're gonna go ahead and do it onto the left fin. And get the washer piece and right through the hole. And you get the last piece to it and just push it right in there. And there you go. And you can see now you have your diffuser assembled. Next, we're gonna go ahead and attach it onto the car. So as you can see here where we have the sensors at, if you end up taking off your OEM diffuser and the little sensor clips end up ripping off, don't worry. What you're gonna do is, as you see here, I was easily able to take it off. What you wanna do is just go and grab the sensor and because with the clip, you could just stretch it open and the sensors pop right off and then they'll be easy able to attach onto the new clips that we have already onto the diffuser right here. So it's simple, easy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We already have two down, take off the other two. This one's on there all tight. There we go. Just want to protect the plastic ring on it. With the last one. There you go. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get the diffuser and attach the sensors into the clips and then we're going to place it right here. So when you start off on attaching the diffuser, you're always going to want to start off in the middle and then work your way onto the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and start attaching the diffuser. But first we're gonna go ahead and get the sensors and put them into the holes. There you go. Now after you have those attached, we're gonna just go ahead and put on the reflectors. So these ones, you just clip them onto it like that. We're gonna put these little screws right here that hold the reflectors into place. And if you take them out from your original diffuser, it is a 10 millimeter. So let's go ahead and attach them on there. Now when we have it all attached, we're gonna go ahead and attach the diffuser. So remember to always start in the middle and then work your way to the side. have that all in the two corner pieces that were on the middle fins as you saw earlier they do go just up into the bumper and once you have it all lined up your diffuser should be all attached like that make sure everything is all good there's no gaps anywhere and there you see that's how your diffuser should look on the car so after you have it all attached onto the car, you can just go ahead and reuse the little tabs that come on your original bumper that you see when you remove them. After that, you can just put them onto this one that attaches to the bumper, and that's the installation right there. So now we have the diffuser installed. We're gonna go ahead and install back our, our exhaust pipes right here. You see these are ours in carbon fiber. Push it in and tighten it. Everything's all good. 
And there you go. So after we have it installed, we're gonna go ahead and just attach the two black tabs that come at the bottom. So we're just gonna go ahead and attach them right here at the bottom. So right here, there's where the hole is of the diffuser, lines up with the frame. You wanna go ahead and put the first piece of the tab. Once you have it lined up, you just go ahead and put the second one. And I will hold that right there in place. And then we're gonna just go ahead and do the same thing onto the other side. Just something that looks like that. There you go. All right, guys, there you go. Thank you guys for stopping by. Starting off 2023 with another successful installation. As you can see here, it looks pretty good. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment, subscribe for everything else. Stay tuned. We have two more brand new diffusers as well for the channel that we're gonna uh, do an installation video for. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time.